masses of the soft palate, hopefully we will be able to finish until your muscles of facial expression. Okay, now we first proceed with the muscles of the tongue. Okay, the tongue muscle. So we have been able to uh, tackle this one when, when we were discussing about your the introduction to your oral cavity, you know, your structures in the uh, floor of the mouth, which, in, which includes your tongue. So we have uh, said before that your muscles of the tongue are divided into two groups. We have your extrinsic muscles, and we also have your intrinsic muscles. Okay, why are they known as such? As for the extrinsic muscles, their origin are located external to the tongue or outside the tongue, while for the extrinsic muscles, their origin at the same time their insertion, they're all located within the tongue itself. Okay, so most of their origin and insertion, they're located inside or within the tongue itself. Kasi tinawag na intrinsic, ano, intrinsic muscles. So as you can see in the photo, ano, we, these are the uh, muscles of the tongue that are depicted in there. <clears throat> as for the action, we have also discussed that uh, your extrinsic muscles, they are responsible for the major, major movement ng ating tongue. Okay, what are those movements like the upward movement of the tongue, the downward movement of the tongue as a whole, and of course, the side-to-side -side movement or lateral movement of your tongue. Okay, this is uh, accomplished by your extrinsic muscles. However, for the intrinsic muscles, okay, their, their main purpose or their main action is just to um, change the dimension you know, or the size of the tongue. For example, you're going to elongate, elongate the tongue, you're going to narrow down the tongue, or you're going to widen the tongue. Okay, so yun lang yung karamihang action of your intrinsic muscles. Okay, for the extrinsic muscles, we have your genioglossus, spiloglossus, and your hyoglossus. As for the intrinsic muscles, you have your uh, superior longitudinal, inferior longitudinal, transverse, and your vertical muscle. Okay, we're going to tackle this one one by one. <clears throat> okay, let's start with your genioglossus. Okay, let's start first with your genioglossus. So the origin of your genioglossus is the superior mental spine of the mandible. Okay, sounds familiar to you. The superior mental spine of the mandible. So, diba we have um, discussed this one, a particular structure in the mandible, we have your superior and your inferior mental spine, okay, known also as your genial tubercle. So, nalala nyo yung genial tubercle. So, this serves as the origin of your genioglossus. Okay, so, ito po siya. So, look how, how wide or how far is the range of your uh, genioglossus mo. So this is your entire genioglossus muscle, okay, even rotating towards the uh, upward and backward, you know? okay, going even towards your hyoid bone. Okay. So again, the insertion is here, starting genial tubercle, so the green one. So the inferior or the superior mental spine, gonna kanyang uh, origin, and it is inserted into three parts. Okay, making it the the largest, you know, the largest and has the widest range of insertion among the four muscles muscles of the tongue. You know. So, hindi lang natin nilagay na dito yung palatoglossus. Actually, yung palatoglossus is a muscle of the tongue. However, since the origin, you know, the origin of your palatoglossus is in the soft palate, so your palatin aponeurosis, it is counted as your a muscle of the soft palate. Okay, so ito, so we go back to your genioglossus, it has the widest range. As you know, the insertion is three, that long kanya insertion. The entire length ng dorsum of the tongue, a lingual aponeurosis, and the body of the hyoid bone. Okay, so ganun kalaki ang kanya uh, insertion. Okay, here, the dorsum of the tongue. The entire length ng dorsum ng tongue, okay, dyan po naka-insert ang ating uh, genioglossus. And of course, the hyoid bone. Your hyoid bone is here. Okay, a muscle of the neck. Uh, the uh, bone pala. So 
sorry, this is a bone of the neck, your hyoid bone. This is the insertion, you know, insertion of your genioglossus. And the other one is your lingual aponeurosis. So we have your, diba, your aponeurosis. Okay, they, they serve as attachment for muscles, you know. Okay, uh, because your muscle, muscle fibers are, do not directly attach to a, to the bone or to a particular organ or soft tissue. Kailangan mo nang meron that just like your skeletal muscle, it is attached to the bone via a tendon or a ligament. Okay, at the same time with a soft tissue or an organ, you know, um, your muscle fibers do not directly attach to it, but it is attached to a tendon-like membrane, <clears throat> membrane or covering. Okay, yung tendon-like uh, covering or membrane is what we known also, uh, what is known as your aponeurosis. Okay, so kaya sobrang lawak ng range ng ating genioglossus or the size of this muscle. Okay, that is why, so the innervation is your uh, CN12 or your hypoglossal nerve and the blood supply is your lingual artery. So actually, most of your uh, muscles to the tongue is have the same innervation and blood supply. So last sila galing sa hypoglossal nerve, ang kanila innervation, and the blood supply is your lingual artery. Now we go to the action. Okay, so again, just like all the principles, all of your muscle, okay, just remember only one principle. But, but take note, guys, uh, this principle it does not, it's not absolute. Okay, meaning some of your muscles are influenced by a certain factor or a certain structure which will dictate its action. Okay, we will see later on kung ano yung um, a very special muscle later on. Okay, but again, uh, the general principle is the action is always towards the origin. Okay, so mark you lang kung saan yung origin, then you would already know the uh, action produced by the contraction of this muscle. So, pag sinabi natin bilateral contraction, actually all of your muscles na oral cavity, muscles of the face, okay, they always come in pairs. Meaning, meron tayong light, uh, right genioglossus, we also have a left genioglossus. Okay? So, tingnan natin. <clears throat> So the bilateral contraction is it depresses and protrudes the tongue. So ibig sabihin nito, if your uh, left and right genioglossus would contract simultaneously, okay, they would produce a depression and protrusion ng tongue. Okay, how is that possible? Okay, take a look at this one. So again, the origin is in your genial tubercle, yung green. Okay, so naturally, if this would contract, sabi doon, your your tongue is located mas mataas above the origin tama above the origin so pag magko-contract siya towards the origin naturally pababa ang kanyang contraction kasi towards the origin nga po so kaya sa depression depression of the tongue okay and then what's the other contraction protrusion ng tongue pag sinabi natin protrusion it is a forward movement movement para Okay, forward movement or an anterior, the, the movement is in anterior direction. Okay, yun ang tinatawag natin protrusion. Okay, take a, look to, take a look at this one. So the tongue is located, I don't know where. Is it anterior or posterior to the origin? Okay, the tongue is located posterior sa inyong origin, the attachment. So naturally, pag nag-contract yung muscle natin, it would, Pull the muscle towards the origin. Papaharap po siya. Okay. Thereby producing a protrusive or the protrusion of your tongue or protrusive movement ng ating tongue. Again, that's bilateral contraction. Depression and protrusion ng tongue. Accomplished by your genioglossus. How about your unilateral contraction? What do we mean by unilateral contraction? A uh, unilateral contraction is uh, one-sided contraction on only. Either ang left ang mag-contract or the right. Hindi sila sabay na mag-contract. That is what we call as your unilateral contraction. Okay, so paano yun? Pag nag-contract daw ang isang side, meaning 
it debates the tongue contralaterally. Okay, what do we mean by contralateral? Opposite side, tama? Okay, pag ipsilateral kasi, it's, it's on the same side. Okay, pag opposite side, that's contralateral. So, meaning, if your right genioglossus muscle, again, your right genioglossus muscle would contract, the tongue would be pulled towards the left. Okay, clear po? If the right genioglossus would contract, the tongue would be pulled towards the left. At the same time, pag ang left genioglossus, genioglossus na contract, okay, the tongue would be pulled towards the right. Kasi nga opposite. Okay, it's a contra, uh, contralateral direction. Pag unilateral or one-sided contraction. Okay? Is it clear? Clear pa tayo sa genioglossus. So here is another picture of your genioglossus. You can see this. So that is highlighted by the green uh, green area. Origin niya is towards the uh, genial tubercle or a part of the genial tubercle which is your superior mental spine. Okay. Here po. Sir, pwede po pa ulit din sa... Uh, yung sa unilateral na contraction last. Okay, so okay. The unilateral contraction. Unilateral contraction if the kasi nga this is a paired muscle, ano? Okay, divided by your lingual septum. Okay, if your um, left genioglossus would contract, you know, left genioglossus muscle would contract, okay, your tongue would be pulled towards the right. Again, pag left genioglossus na contract, your the muscle would be pulled towards the right. Okay, pag ang right right genioglossus will contract, okay, the tongue would be pulled towards the left. Okay, balik taran yun lang. Okay, that is what we call as unilateral. Okay. Okay, so pag may hindi kayo clear ano, uh, do not hesitate. Okay, just like yung isang student natin. If it's not clear to you, do not hesitate to stop me or sir, it's not clear to you again. Okay? That's a good habit. Okay, so there's no ano, uh, clarification with the genioglossus. Before we proceed to the uh, next muscle, extrinsic muscle. Again guys, uh, this is an extrinsic muscle. Next is your styloglossus. Okay. <clears throat> now the origin of your styloglossus is this styloid process. Okay. So the origin is your styloid process. So there's a, uh, in the infratemporal, uh, infratemporal uh, region of your cranium, we have an extension. So we have an extension of the dito. Okay. But it's a spine of bone. Okay, known as your styloid process. Okay, uh, still remember yung anatomy nyo. Yung nasa likod niya is a, hindi siya ganong sharp na extension, also known as your mastoid. So yung nasa harap is, na, nasa harap ng mastoid process is your uh, styloid process. Okay, that's the origin. The styloid process is the origin of your styloglossus. Saan naka-insert? Ating uh, styloglossus muscle. It is inserted in the so, this is a very different uh, muscle ano? because the insertion, okay, it's not actually inserted on the organ or a bone. Okay? Naka-insert siya mismo on a muscle. Okay, the insertion is on a muscle. Kasi pansinin nyo here, sabi doon, it's inserted on an intrinsic muscle, your inferior longitudinal, and it is also inserted in the in a in an ex extrinsic muscle, yung hyoglossus nyo. So, sa muscle siya naka-insert. Okay, take a look at this one. So, this is your styloglossus. Ito po. Okay, naka-insert siya sa ating style. Ah, an origin. This originates in your styloid process and then it is inserted in your uh, inferior longitudinal muscle. And this is your, ito kasi yung ano nyo na. This is your hyoglossus. Okay, tapos naka-insert dyan yung ating 
as Philo. Okay, so siya lang yung naiiba na muscle natin in here. It is inserted on an intrinsic and an extrinsic muscle. That is your stylo glossus. Okay, same innervation, same blood supply. It's still CN12 or cranial, cranial nerve 12, hypoglossal nerve, and it is supplied by your lingual artery. Action. Okay, this is the counterpart or the opposite of your genioglossus. Because the action niya, it is it retracts and elevates the lateral aspect of your tongue. It, again, it retracts and elevates the tongue. Because again, we go back to the principle, always towards the origin. Since your origin, which is your styloid process, is located above the tongue. Yung tongue nyo, the styloid process is located above. Mas matas siya compared sa tongue. So naturally, it would pull the tongue upward. Sa taas. And since the styloid process or the origin is located more posterior or at the back of the tongue, anong hihilayan niya? It would pull the tongue towards the back. Kaya siya tinawag na retrusion or retraction. Okay, kukapo. Again, the action is retraction and elevation of the sides of the tongue. Ang genioglossus nyo, it's depression and protrusion. Pag bilateral contraction. Okay, so ganito rin. Bilateral contraction of your styloglossus, retrusion and elevation. Elevation is the, the, the organ would be pulled upward or patas. Okay, clear? Okay, so only one of the styloglossus. Again, this is your styloglossus. Again, they always come in pairs. We have a left also, and we have a left and right styloglossus also. Okay, <clears throat> so yeah. Now we go to the hyoglossus. Okay, the origin is your hyoid bone. Okay, pansin nyo, it, this is very to, very easy to memorize kung saan yung origin. Genio, genial tubercle. Stylo, glossus, styloid process ang um, origin. Now, the hyo, glossus, the origin is in the hyoid bone. Okay, so di nyo na kailangan mag-isip ko ano yung origin kasi nasa pangalan na no. It's in, the na it's in, it's in their name already. So for the hy hyo, glossus, the origin is in the uh, hyoid bone. Okay, so ito po. So the origin is in the hyoid bone. Ito. And it is inserted in the ventral parts or in the under underside of the tongue. Ventral part ng tongue natin. Ito yung ventral part. Uh, the a smooth portion of your tongue. Okay, this is the sinatakpan ng muscles, ano, pero underneath the tongue is the ventral surface. Okay, so yun po ang kanyang insertion. Okay, so nahulaan nyo na kung anong, ano, we, uh, we're able to realize already what's the action. Again, towards the origin. So, ano, depression or elevation? Is it depression or elevation? You can say, always remember the principle. Contraction is always towards the origin. The yeah, contraction is, I define its, its action is, it depresses and retracts the tongue. So depression, ilay niya yung tongue downwards. It will pull the tongue downwards. Kasi nga, the origin is located below the insertion. Okay, so, um, depression. And the retraction, uh, no, the retraction action is the hyoid bone is more posteriorly located than the tongue. So, mas nakalikod yung hyoid bone nyo, therefore, it would pull the tongue backward. So, yes, a retrusion also. Okay. Okay, now we summarize the action. Okay, pag ang tanong is, what muscles, uh, what extrinsic muscle of the tongue are responsible for its depression? 
So, tongue depression, what are the two muscles that are involved? So, tongue depression. Okay, we have your hyoglossus and genioglossus. Tama? Genioglossus and hyoglossus, they're, um, they are responsible for tongue depression. Okay, paano naman pag ang tanong is, what mu extrinsic muscles of the tongue are responsible for tongue retraction or tongue retrusion? Okay, we have two also, your styloglossus and hyoglossus. Okay, get? Uh, styloglossus and hyoglossus pag tongue retraction. Okay, isang muscle lang. There's only one muscle of the tongue that is responsible for protrusion, your genioglossus. And there's also one muscle of the tongue that is responsible for uh, tongue elevation. It's your styloglossus naman. Okay? Take note. Take note. Take, down, uh, take note of those um, action. You know, action of your extrinsic muscles of the tongue. Okay? Okay, clear. So we're done with your extrinsic muscle. Now we go to so ito yun, hyoglossus. Again, they always come in pairs. We have a right and left uh, hyoglossus muscle. Okay, now let's go to your uh, intrinsic muscles. So we have four, superior, longitudinal, inferior, longitudinal, uh, transverse, and your vertical muscle. Okay, so actually, ito yung ating... Okay, this is the entirety of your uh, intrinsic intrinsic muscles of the tongue. Okay, so that's it. This one. These are all your intrinsic muscles of the tongue. And of course, as you can see in here, there's only one muscle in there that have a different orientation ng kanyang muscle fiber. So we have three orientation, uh, three muscles that have a horizontal orientation. So, tinan nyo, horizontal ang um, orientation ng isang muscle here. Another muscle is uh, horizontal pa rin ang orientation. Yung naka-highlight dito na superior longitudinal is also a horizontal ang kanyang orientation. However, there's one muscle here which has a vertical orientation ng kanyang muscle. Okay. Yan, vertical ang kanyang ori orientation. So, no need to guess kung what it what muscle yun, intrinsic muscle, since vertical ang kanyang orientation or the fiber, orientation of the muscle fiber, okay, uh, kaysa tinawag na vertical muscle, vertical muscle of the tongue. Now let's go first with the uh, superior, longitudinal. Kinalala nyo yung, ano, uh, your, uh, what do we call this one? Yung uh, high school na, when you're drawing a map, Diba, we have your, what we call as your latitude and your longitude. The yeah, latitude natin is the y, y-axis, and your longitude is the horizontal part, or yung x-axis na. Kaya sa tinawag na longitude din since the, again, the orientation of the fiber is uh, horizontal, and it is located above, you know, kaya siya it's superior longitude din Okay, so the origin of your superior longitudinal is the submucosa of posterior tongue and the lingual septum. And it is inserted in the apex. Okay, apex or anterolateral margins ng tongue. So, side view. So, side view siya. For example, ah, sorry. For example, this is the tongue. Okay. So, ang insertion niya is in the tip. That's why it has an action on the tip. So, ito po yung tip ng ating tongue. Okay, <clears throat> so the innervation, the same, hypoglossal, and the blood supply is your lingual artery. Now, the action is, it widens the tongue. Okay, widens the tongue. Yun ang kanyang um, action. So, pinapalapad yung tongue nyo. Okay, broadens or widens the tongue. And it also elevates the apex. Elevates the apex. 
it elevates the apex or pulls the ape or the tip of the tongue. Pag sinabi natin apex, it's the tip. So if your the tip of your tongue is pulled upwards, that is the action of your superior longitudinal muscle. Again, it widens the tongue and pulls the tip of the tongue upward. Okay, that is the action of your superior longitudinal. Next, we have your inferior longitudinal. <clears throat> inferior longitudinal is located at the, below, ano? below the most inferior portion ng inyong intrinsic muscle. Okay, pag uh, tinanong, what's the muscle that is located? Uh, what intrinsic muscle is located uh, most superior? It's your superior longitudinal. Pag, uh, intrinsic muscle located uh, most inferior is your inferior longitudinal. Okay, this is the counterpart, uh, no, uh, counterpart of your superior longitudinal. Okay, counterpart sa na ating superior longitudinal. Wherein the action is, so this is the tip of the tongue. Okay. Again, they have the same action with the superior longitudinal na it widens the tongue or it broadens the tongue. Parese lang ng action, right? But there is one action that uh, they have. They are opposite. If the superior longitudinal will pull the, the tip of the tongue upward, your inferior longitudinal naman, it will pull the tip of the tongue downward. Okay, so it lowers the apex of the tongue. Again, this is this is easier to memorize. Pag superior, upward. Tip is upward. Pag inferior, the tip is downward. Kaya nga siya inferior, right? Inferior, longitudinal. Okay, lowers the apex of the tongue or the tip of the tongue. Okay, the ear innervation and blood supply, always the same. Hypoglossal and lingual artery. Okay, next is the transverse muscle. So the transverse muscle is located in between the vertical and the inferior longitudinal muscle. So yung naka-highlight po dyan. Again, the transverse muscle is located in between the vertical and your inferior longitudinal muscle. Okay, the origin is the lingual septum. Okay, here is your lingual septum, the white portion. Ayan po ang ating lingual septum. Okay, so now the insertion is in the lateral, lateral margin ng tongue. Insertion is here. So, sa sides ng tongue natin. Okay. Okay, now what's the action? Since the lingual septum is located at the midline, okay, so definitely, uh, the, uh, the origin, the origin is the lingual septum located in the midline or in the center. It will now narrow the tongue. Kasi hilain niya yung both sides of your tongue. The lateral portion of your tongue, hilain niya towards the center. That's why the tongue would, so kunyari, ito yung original tongue, the size of the tongue. So pag nagnanarrow siya, okay, <clears throat> okay so papalitin mo lang, ano, elongate and narrows the tongue. Oh, sorry, that was mahaba pala yan. Kasi nga na-elongate. Okay, you would now elongate the tongue and it will narrow down. That's the action of your transverse muscle. Same innervation, same blood supply. As of or the rest of your muscles. Muscles of the tongue. Okay. Next, the last one. Last intrinsic muscle. We have your vertical muscle. Again, okay? it's called as a vertical muscle. Since the muscle fibers are oriented vertically. Okay, so vertical lang kanyang uh, orientation. Okay, the origin is in the root of the tongue. And the insertion is the same. Uh, the insertion is in, in lingual aponeurosis. Innervation and blood supply, they are the same. The action is it broadens and elongates the tongue. Okay, it widens the tongue. At the same time, it will elongate also. It will elongate and broaden the tongue. Okay. So, review natin your intrinsic muscles. What action, by what muscles of the tongue, intrinsic muscle of the tongue will elongate the tongue? 
ano yung magpapahaba sa tangan natin, what are those muscles involved? We have your vertical and your transverse. Okay, what muscles are responsible for uh, broadening the tongue or widening the tongue? We have three. We have your vertical, we have your superior, and your inferior longitudinal. Okay, isa lang po dyan ang nagnanarrow ng tongue natin. There's only one intrinsic muscle that will narrow the tongue. That is your transverse. Transverse muscle. Okay, pull the tongue or pull the tip of the tongue or the apex of the tongue upward. It's your superior longitudinal. Pull the apex of the tongue downward or the tip of the tongue downward. That is your inferior longitudinal. Okay, para para sa sila na innervation and blood supply, CN12 and your lingual artery. Okay. Question, clarification. Ating tong. Questions and clarifications. Kasi ang next na, okay, we're done with the muscles of the tongue. We go to your suprahyoid. Suprahyoid muscles. Okay, as you can see in the picture, yeah, you can see in the picture, these are, these are muscles of the neck. Okay, kaya baka tinatanong nyo, what is its connection with the HMA? Okay, muscle naman siya ng neck. Actually, there's a connection. You know? uh, they, have the con they have a connection with your oral cavity. Since most of these muscles, your suprahyoid muscles, they are located, you know, um, they have an action on the floor of the mouth. And at the same time, we have only encountered one muscle that is responsible for jaw opening. Okay, di ba isa lang yung na-encounter natin na muscle na nag-cause ng jaw opening? One muscle of mastication. Okay, yun yung inferior head of your lateral pterygoid. Tama? The inferior head of your lateral pterygoid will cause jaw opening or jaw depression. Okay, but there are other muscles that are responsible for that one, yung jaw opening. So they are included here sa ating suprahyoid muscle. Okay, so bakit sila tinawag na suprahyoid muscle? Okay, kasi they are located above. Supra, they are located above. No? Above the hyoid bone. Okay, so ito po. <clears throat> so this is your hyoid bone. In color blue. Okay, that is your hyoid bone. And your hyoid bone is a movable muscle. Just like your jaw. Or just like yung ating, yung panga natin, ano, or the mandible. The mandible is also moving, ano, kaya siya movable jaw. Your hyoid bone also is moving, you know, movable din siya, it's not fixed. Okay, and we also have muscles underneath yung ating hyoid bone. May mga muscles din tayo dyan. Okay, those muscles, we call those muscles as your infrahyoid, since they are located below. We will not focus already on your infrahyoid kasi their muscles are, they are already responsible for the, uh, the, the, the structures that they are helping or they are producing an action is not already in the oral cavity. Yung nasa baba na sila, either in the pharynx or in the larynx. Yun ng kanilang action. So let's just concentrate with your muscles above the hyoid bone, yung ating suprahyoid muscles. Okay? So ano yung mga suprahyoid muscles natin? We have your digastric. We have your genuhyoid, uh, mylohyoid, and your stylohyoid muscles. Okay, yeah. See here. So as you can see, it's floating, ano? Your hyoid bone is floating. Pero, why does your hyoid bone stay in its place? E kahit na, ano siya, there's no particular attachment. And it's not fixed. E paano siya nakakapag-stay sa kanyang position or in its place? It's due to the action ng inyong hyoid muscles. Nakatouch siya sa mga muscles. So parang... Ano, elastic, ano, elastic uh, sling itong mga muscles na ito. So they will, are continuously contracting. Okay, they oppose the movement either upward or downward. Kaya nakakapag-stay yung ating hyoid bone in its place. Although para siya naka-float. Okay? Okay, uh, just a trivia. Ano yung, what, is, what will be the cause of death of a person pag na-fracture yung hyoid bone? So tingin niya. What is the cause of death? 
okay, you may want to use your mic or your the chat box. Okay, ano sa tingin nyo pinamatay niya pag na-fracture? Asphyxiation, sir. Ano na? Miss Crosby, ano yan? Can you repeat? Asphyxiation, sir. Okay, asphyxiation. Okay, so... Uh, other term na asphyxiation. Okay, choking, di ba? You're, you're choked, choked to death. Or what's the other more common term? Pag ikaw ay sinakal, ano? You were strangulate or strangulation. Okay, you were strangled to death. Okay, uh, the other clinic, aside from the uh, finger marks on your neck, okay, pag na-fracture yun yung hide bone, probably your probable cause of death is your is strangulation. Ano? So, yan pa yung tinitignan ng ating coroner pag nag-investigate yun, pag autopsy. Kita nila fractured yung hide bone mo, then probable cause of death is strangulation. Or choking. Okay, someone choked you to death. Or strangled you. Okay, so yeah. So usually, so all, almost all ng inyong ano na, uh, all of your uh, suprahyoid muscles, ano, hyoid muscles are attached, nakatatch sila sa ating, um, or they are all inserted in the hyoid bone. They just like this one. The first suprahyoid muscle is your digastric. Digastric muscle. So again, just like your lateral pterygoid, so papahirapan na naman kayo ni digastric din. Dalawa ang kanyang component. Your digastric muscle has two components. We have your anterior belly and the posterior belly. Okay? Yeah. So the anterior belly is ito po. Uh, the anterior belly is, syempre, uh, anterior or located forward to your hyoid bone, that is what we call as your anterior belly. And ang posterior belly is nasa likod. Posterior to your hyoid bone is the posterior belly of your digastric. Okay? So origin of the anterior belly is the digastric uh, portion of your mandible or digastric fossa of the mandible. So origin yan nandito rin. Digastric fossa of the mandible while the posterior belly it is insert it is or uh, it originates in the mastoid process okay the posterior belly of your digastric muscle is located at the mastoid process then ang origin niya okay tas naka insert lahat sila sa hyoid bone okay so naturally pag separate ano separate origin but the same insertion they have separate action. Okay, now the action of your anterior belly, it now depresses the mandible. If you look at this one, our origin is located above the insertion. So the anterior belly, the origin is located above the insertion. So pag nag-contract yan toward the hyoid bone, it will now open the mandible. It will now depress, depress the mandible. While the action ng ating posterior belly, it will now elevate the hyoid bone. Since yung hyoid bone nyo is, is a movable bone, hindi siya nakafix, and the origin is located above the hyoid bone, the posterior belly, it will now pull the hyoid bone upward. Ihilayin nyo yung hyoid bone nyo. Okay, so wag po nalilito. The anterior belly, the action is depressing, depression of the mandible. While the posterior belly, elevation ng hyoid bone. Okay, so magkaibang boto po yung pinag-aakan ng dalawa. Okay, pag yung anterior belly, it's the mandible. The posterior belly is the hyoid, hyoid bone. Okay? So, dalawa na. Dalawa na yung ating ano, muscles that are involved in jaw depression or opening ng ating jaw. We have the inferior, inferior head ng lateral pterygoid and the anterior belly of the digastric. Okay, dalawa na po yan. Okay, gets po. The innervation, it's the mylohyoid nerve. Magkaiba din ang kanyang innervation and blood supply. 
innervation for the anterior belly is the mylohyoid nerve of the mandibular division of your trigeminal nerve, kasi nga V3. While the posterior belly is innervated by the digastric, bran uh, digastric branch of the facial nerve, or your CN7. Blood supply, anterior belly is supplied by your facial artery, for, while the posterior belly is supplied by the, by the occipital artery. Since nasa likod siya. Okay. <clears throat> Next, genuhyoid. Okay, this muscle uh, highlighted in there in the picture. The origin of your genuhyoid is uh, inferior mental spine. Kinalala nyo what, the, what is the other muscle that is located, uh, that, is, that originates in a genial tubercle, superior mental spine. <clears throat> yung inyong genuglossus tama. So both genuglossus and your genuhyoid muscle, they originate in your genial tubercle. Magkaiba lang sila ng spine. Genuglossus is the superior mental spine and your genuhyoid is attached in the inferior mental spine. Okay. Insertion, the same sa hyoid bone. Innervation, anterior ramus of the spinal nerve C1 and the blood supply is sublingual branch of the lingual artery. Okay. Now the action is, uh, since mas mataas, ano? The origin is located. <clears throat> the origin is located above the insertion. Okay, it will now elevate and draw the hyoid bone anteriorly, and it will shorten the floor of the mouth. Pinapalit niya yung floor of the mouth once dense, once this uh, muscle of the neck will contract. Okay, it also widens the pharynx. Okay, again the action ng genuhyoid elevates and draws the hyoid bone anteriorly or towards the front, and it shortens the floor of the mouth, and it also widens the pharynx. Okay. Okay, kaya pa? Okay, let's go to your mylohyoid. <clears throat> okay, this is a very special muscle, muscle of the floor of the mouth. Okay, naalala nyo yung origin. The origin is in the mylohyoid line of the mandible. Still remember what is the mylohyoid line? Okay, it's also known as your internal oblique ridge. Tama? Naalala nyo yung uh, structure of the mandible. Your internal oblique ridge is also known as your mylohyoid line. Diyan nag-originate yung ating mylohyoid muscle. Okay, In here, so part in here, you no know, part in there. I sorry, part in here that is the origin, origin of your mylohyoid. Because this is your mylohyoid muscle. Okay. okay, and it is inserted in the mylohyoid raphe. Okay, pag titingnan kasi natin yung ano na, no? uh, if we're going to to look at the mylohyoid muscle again, they always come in pairs. We have a left and right. For example, we have a left mylohyoid muscle. Okay, and we also have a right mylohyoid muscle. Okay, when they meet, when they meet in between, okay, pag nag uh, nag meet sila sa gitna, okay, they would be attached together. Okay, that is your mylohyoid raphe. So, ito na po yun. The mylohyoid raphe is the uh, the meeting or the junction junction of your two mylohyoid muscles. Okay, and this mylohyoid raphe is also inserted sa ating hyoid bone. So, ito pa yung hyoid bone natin. This is your hyoid bone. Okay, this, that serves also as the attachment of your mylohyoid muscle. So, naka-insert po dyan yung ating mylohyoid muscle. Okay, now we go to the um, action. Okay, so dalawang action ng ating mylohyoid. Okay, since the origin is located above, above the insertion, okay, naturally it would uh, pull the hyoid bone upward. So, hihilain nyo yung hyoid bone nyo pataas. Since your hyoid bone is a fixed, fixed muscle. Okay, now here comes the tricky part. Ito yung uh, tricky part na, okay, that you would question. Yung principle natin, di ba sabi natin, the principle is, 
the contraction is towards the origin. Okay, now, it, the ang, isang action here, yung mylohyde muscle nyo, it would depress the mandible. Or it would pull the mandible downward. Bakit ganun? Bakit downward? Eh, tinan nyo, ang origin niya is nasa internal oblique ridge, right? Tapos ang insertion niya is nasa hyoid bone. Okay, hindi ba dapat supposed to be, ano, um, the mandible would stay in its place. It would not move kasi pag nag-contract yan, it's towards the origin, tama? Mas mataas yung origin. Okay, however, okay, this is a contradiction. Uh, this is a, uh, this is a classic example na there are other muscles that are acting on a particular structure and it would uh, influence the direction ng contraction ng isa pang muscle. Okay, take a look at this one. Meron tayong tinatawag na infrahyoid muscle. Okay, yun na-discuss natin. We have your uh, sternohyoid, we have your omohyoid, and your thyrohyoid. Okay, these are known as your infrahyoid muscles kasi they are located below the hyoid bone. Okay, ito po sila. Okay, their origin is located below, below the hyoid bone. Nasa baba ang kanilang origin. Tapos naka-insert sila sa hyoid bone. Your infrahyoid muscles nyo, they are, the origin is located towards the, the, uh, the inferior portion or below the hyoid bone. Okay, so pag nag-contract sila, diba? ang contraction nila, the, the hyoid bone would be pulled downward. May hila yung hyoid bone nyo, pababa. And remember, yung hyoid bone nyo, nakatouch din sa ang muscle, nakatouch sila sa mylohyoid, tama? Okay, so nakatouch pa rin yung um, hyoid bone natin sa ating mylohyoid. So pag nag-contract yung ating infrahyoid muscle, they will pull the, the hyoid bone downward. At the same time, it would exert an action on the mylohyoid, magkocontract din yung mylohyoid pababa. Okay, thereby opening your mandible. Okay. Clear po yun, maliwanag. Okay, so it's not always na ang contraction. So again, the, 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 the mylohyoid does not, con uh, the, the action that it produces is not influenced by its own action, yung sarili niyang action. Okay, it is dictated Okay, yung depression niya, the, the action which is mandibular depression or jaw opening is now dictated by other muscles. Yung other muscles na yun is yung sternohyoid, omohyoid, and your thyrohyoid muscle or infrahyoid muscle. Okay, so hinila. Dahil dito sa tatlong ito, ano, hinila nila yung hyoid bone pababa and at the same time, the hyoid bone would also uh, pull the mylohyoid muscle downward thereby opening the jaw. You know, opening the jaw or depressing the mandible. Okay. So, wag po kayo na dilito dun, ano? Is it, ano? Uh, just to make it clear. So, meron na tayong tatlo. We have three muscles already that are responsible for uh, jaw opening or mandibular depression. Okay, we have the inferior head ng lateral pterygoid. We have the anterior belly ng digastric. And then the last one is your mylohyoid muscle. Okay, sila yung tatlo na nagde-depress or nag-open ng ating mandible during mastication. Okay? Okay, last. Last part ng ating, ay last muscle. Ng, uh, last suprahyoid muscle is your stylohyoid. <clears throat> okay, the origin. It's your styloid process. Insertion, they're inserted in the body of the hyoid bone. Innervation, stylohyoid branch of the facial nerve and the blood supply. It branches from the facial, occipital, and posterior auricular artery. Its action, since the styloid process is located above the hyoid bone, so it would elevate the hyoid bone and facilitate tongue retraction. And it would uh, facilitate also swallowing and keeps the airway open during inspiration. <clears throat> okay? So, yeah. So, those are the actions ng inyong stylohyoid. 
muscle. Okay, so meron siyang action on the oral cavity which is tongue retraction or tongue retrusion. <coughs> okay, any questions? May tanong kayo sa suprahyoid. <coughs> suprahyoid. Okay, so tapos natin yung muscle ng tongue, suprahyoid muscle. Go to the last facial expression. <coughs> As you can see here, we have a set, you know, we have a set of muscles that when they act together, you know, pag nag-act sila together, they would, uh, they would produce a, a, a certain facial expression. Okay. <clears throat> so here, so ang dami, no? we have a lot of muscles that contributes to the facial expression. So actually, hindi sila isa-isa. No? Um, these muscles do not act individually to form a facial expression. Okay, It's always a combination. Okay? The combination of several of these muscles will produce a specific na facial expression. But we just divided this one. Uh, dinipaid lang natin itong mga muscles na to according to their location. Okay? Uh, but don't worry, we will not already go with this one na yung may origin, insertion, uh, innervation. Okay? Baka hindi nyo nakayanin. So yung action lang tayo, no? let's focus on the action. <laughs> so let's focus on the action in this one. And how do these uh, muscles produce a facial expression? Okay? Ano yung mga muscles na yun that would contribute to A? Uh, certain facial expression. So we have your muscles of the mouth. Ito yung mga muscles na yun, orbicularis oris, uh, vaccinator, levator labi superioris, levator labi superioris alikinasi, depressor labi inferioris, mentalis, risorius, the levator angular oris, depressor angular oris, zygomaticus major, and your zygomaticus minor. Muscles of the nose. Contributing to a facial expression, we have your nasalis and procerus. Okay, um, it's a typographical, sorry. It should be a muscle of the eye. Muscles of the eye. Okay, muscles of the eye that would contribute to a facial expression. We have your orbicularis oculi and your corrugator supercilii. Okay, and the muscle of the cranium or in the head, we have your occipital frontalis. And the muscle of the neck, we have your platysma. <clears throat> okay. So, ito po sila. So, ang dami, ano. We have a lot of your muscles in here. <clears throat> okay, now we go to the first expression. Okay, the smiling. Smiling expression. Okay, what are the muscles that are responsible for producing a smiling facial expression? So, number one is your risorius. Tinanong kayo sa exam, okay, actually, this is the smiling muscle. The main muscle for smiling is your risorius. Okay. Um, the action of your risorius, it pulls the angle of the mouth superiorly and laterally. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Here, this is the corner of the mouth. You know. okay, so, kita nyo yung violet. Uh, this is the corner of the mouth. So, ang action ng ating uh, risorius. <clears throat> uh, this is the risorius muscle. Okay, inserted in the angle of the mouth. So, ang action na it would pull the, it would pull the, the corner of the mouth or the angle of the mouth laterally. Okay, patalikod and pataas. Okay. So, yun yung action ng ating uh, risorius muscle. And we also have your zygomaticus minor and your zygomaticus major. Okay, pag minor, it is located uh, nasa harap. Anteriorly located than your zygomaticus major. Again, yung minor nasa harap. 
Okay, in your major, zygomaticus major is located at the back. Yeah, so, there. so the yellow one is your zygomaticus minor. The red one is the zygomaticus major. Okay, ang action ng ating zygomaticus minor is to elevate uh, minor pala. Minor is to elevate and avert the upper lip. Okay, so yung lips natin, <clears throat> for example, this upper, uh, this upper lip here, okay, it would pull the upper lip upwards. And then yung soft tissue inside, you know, the inner surface of the lip would, of the lips would also be pulled outward. Okay, so ilalabas nyo yung inner surface ng inyong upper lip. Okay, that is the action of your zygomaticus minor. Ang, zy ang zygomaticus major, okay, the red one, since it is attached ano, or inserted in the corner of the mouth, okay, the action of your zygomaticus ma major, I'm sorry, the action of your zygomaticus major is to elevate, ano, it would also elevate or pull the corner of the mouth upward. And it would also avert. Okay, yun yung tinatawag natin inversion or avert. Averting, the inner surfaces would be pulled palabas. You know, inner surface would be pulled outward. Okay, so dalawa yung action ng ating zygomaticus muscle. The minor, elevate and avert the upper lip. While the zygomaticus major, elevate and avert the angle of the mouth. Okay, we also have your levator or labi superioris. Okay, it would elevate also the upper lip. And it would invert the maxillary teeth. Uh, invert the upper lip. So yung surface ng ating upper lip, papaloobin naman niya. The inner surface, uh, the outer surface of the upper lip would be pulled towards the inner surface. Okay, papaloobin niya yung ating upper lip. Okay, exposing the maxillary teeth and deepening the nasolabial line. Okay, yun yung action ating levator labay. Ano yung, uh, what's the ano, nasolabial line? <clears throat> okay, so punta natin yan mamaya. Okay, the levator angulioris, pag ang levator uh, labi superioris, it would pull the lips upward. Okay, ang levator angulioris naman, it, it elevates or pull the angle of the angle of the lips uh, upward din. Okay. So, ano case niya is there. Okay, so hindi lang nakalagay dyan, but that is the location of your levator angulioris. And the last one, responsible for the uh, muscle of masticate, um, smiling, and of producing a facial expression, which is smiling, we have your orbicularis oculi. Okay? That's the action ng ating orbicularis oculi. Okay, punta natin yung ano, this man is smiling. So, review lang natin what are the muscles that are uh, responsible for producing a smile. Okay, number one is your smiling muscle. Again, guys, ha, this muscle always comes in pair. Okay, dalawa. We have a left and a right. So, here. So, the muscle that will pull the angle of the mouth laterally towards the sides and upwards. Okay, we have your Okay, we have your risorius. We have your risorius muscle. Okay, risorius. And then we also have a another muscle in here. Okay, pulling um elevating the upper lip. Elevating and averting the upper lip. Nice. Right side here. Okay. Yellow dot. Okay, we have the zygomaticus. We have your zygomaticus minor. Or ZMI. And another one. Uh, this zygomaticus. i sorry. Okay, we also have a, this zygomaticus muscle is located at the back. And it would, the action is to elevate the corner of the mouth and invert. Okay, yung nasa likod, that is uh, known as your, 
okay, uh, ZMJ, or Zygomaticus Major. Okay, ano pa? We also have a, we also have a muscle na it would pull and invert the upper upper lip. Okay, may muscle tayo here. It would pull and in, invert the upper lip. Okay, yung dalawa natin, yung zygomaticus muscles natin, di ba, they invert, invert the upper lip and the angle of the mouth. Pag invert naman, it would invert the upper lip and will show your maxillary dentition. Okay, meron tayo nung... Ay, we have your levator okay, labi superioris. Again, tawag natin sa kanya is your levator labi superioris. Okay, ano na ba yung isa? That is responsible for um, pulling the corner of the mouth. It will now pull the corner of the mouth upward. So, nandito siya. Yung violet. Okay, we have your levator. Levator anguli, okay, sorry. Levator anguli oris. Yeah. Hindi nakita. Oops. So, basta yung violet, ano? The violet one is your levator anguli oris. And tinan nyo, nag squint yung mata. Okay, pag nag smile kayo, di ba? Um, I know this respect to, kung may, mayroon ba tayong signage dito. Di ba pag yung mga Chinese, di ba sometimes pag, uh, if they ask them to smile, it looks like they're already, eh, hindi nakita yung mata nila, no? Parang close na yung mata nila because of the absence of your, okay. because of the absence ng ating orbicularis oculi. Okay, your orbicularis oculi has also an, an effect on your eyes. Kaya nag squint yung mata natin when we are smiling because of the action of the orbicularis oculi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so remember this always come in pairs. Paired po yung mga muscles natin. Okay. Ano ba yan? Okay, so paired po siya. Okay, we have your levator, lava superior is in here. We have your zygomaticus minor. We have your zygomaticus major at the back. We have your levator, okay, levator anguli oris in here. Okay, pulling your, ano, and then we also have your uh, orbicularis oris. Okay, so a total of how many muscles are contracting when you are smiling? How many muscles are contracting when you are smiling? Oh, ilan guys? Ang bilang yun na? How many muscles are contracting when you are smiling? Is it 6 or 12? Ilan guys, is it 6 or 12? 6 muscles or 12 muscles? Contracting when, yes, it's 12. Ano? Since they are paired. Okay, so pag meron tayong uh, left zygomaticus minor, we also have a right zygomaticus minor. Okay, so left and right po siya. So total of 12 muscles of, uh, 12 muscles are contracting when you are smiling. Okay, clear po yan. This is clear. Okay, next, tara tayo sa ano, frowning and sa frowning, sadness and anger. So, ito naman, these are the muscles that are contracting when you are sad. Okay, we have your orbicularis oculi. Same, di ba? Meron tayong, pag meron tayong smiling eyes, of course. Meron ding sad eyes, right? They also they reflect, reflect your emotion. Your eyes, di ba sabi nila, your eyes are, you know what? The windows of the soul. If you're uh, 
uh, happy, then it is reflected in your eyes. Also, pag, uh, if you are sad, it is also reflected in your eyes. Kaya meron din tayo yung orbicularis oculi. We also have your orbicularis oris. Surrounding your lips, ano, is your orbicularis oris. Okay, we also have your, uh, kabalik na rin nito, yung ating depressor, your debator anguli oris, it would pull the corner of the mouth upward. We also have a depressor anguli oris, Okay. So, so we have your depressor anguli oris. So nakatouch sa ating corner of the mouth. Okay. So naturally the contraction would be downward. Okay. Kaya, and it is bilateral. Ano, bilateral contraction of this muscle. Okay. Kaya it would now produce a frowning expression. Okay. Sad face. Is it would pull the corners ng inyong mouth downward. Okay? And we also have your uh, mentalis. It depresses and inverts the base ng ating lower lip. So yung lips nyo na ito, this is your lip. Okay? Yung inner surface is pag invert sabi, i-invert nyo yan. Okay? Lalabas na yung inner surface. Okay? Which will result to a, a facial expression which is pouting. Di ba pag nagpa-pout ko yung lips nyo, lalabas nyo yung inner surface. So, titingnan natin mamaya. So, that is the action ng inyong mentalis muscle. So, this is your mentalis muscle. There. Is that the blue one? Okay. So, meron tayong tatlong muscle. Orbicularis oris, depressor anguli oris. Uh, at the same time, meron tayong ng orbicularis oculi. So, apat pala. And your mentalis muscle. Okay, next, meron pa tayo. We also have your proseros when you are angry. Okay, so just above, just above your bridge ng nose, that is your proseros muscle. It's responsible for wrinkling ng skin in near the glabella or in your forehead. Okay, we have also have your corrugator supercilii. So corrugator supercilii is nasa eyebrows nyo. Okay, nasa eyebrows nyo po siya. Okay, this is your thing corrugator super sea line. So my key line. Okay, the, and then they would contract. Okay, di ba? Okay, mag, uh, sasalubong yung key line nyo. Di ba pag if you're frowning or you're angry, di ba? Your eyebrows would meet together. And then we also have your proserus na nabanggit natin. This is your proserus. It would cause wrinkling also wrinkling of your forehead. Okay, we also have your nasalis. Okay. Your nasalis would dilate your alar, yung all of the nose. Okay, and also the um, dilate your nostril. Diba? Kita nyo yung caricature or cartoon. Pag, diba? may, may steam na lumalabas sa kanilang nose and look at the nostrils there. They have been widened. Okay, that is the action of your nasalis. Then we also have your platysma. It's a muscle of the neck. Okay, so ito po yung platysma nyo. Okay. So connected sa sa ating angle, ano, or the, the inferior border ng ating mandible, and then it would pull now. You know. it, your platysma would pull the uh, corner of the mouth and the lower lip. Okay, so malaki ang kanyang action. Corner of the mouth and then the lower lip. Okay, yan ang action ng ating platysma. Okay, so pababa, pansinin nyo lahat, uh, your smiling muscle, all of the muscles, the action is, okay, pataas, right? Kaya nag smile While the action of the, um, okay, of your frowning muscle is, is always towards the, or oh, downward. Kaya so it would produce a sad face or a frowning face. Okay? And we also have your occipital frontalis. Okay, your occipital frontalis is nasa taas. So actually, your occipital frontalis, kaya sa tinawag na occipito, because it has a muscle at all the way towards the back ng ating skull. Ano, nandun nakatat. So it, this is a very large muscle. Occipital, we have an occipital belly and we also have a frontal belly ng ating occipital, occipito frontalis. Kaya dalawa rin ang kanyang contraction. 
we have an upward contraction and downward contraction. So if your occipital frontalis would contract downward, it would now create a frowning face. As pag nag-contract siya upward, pataas, it would produce another set ng facial expression, which is your surprise or shock. Titingnan natin yan mamaya. Okay, there. Here, yan. So ito yung pouting, ano? Okay, what muscle is uh, causing pouting? So, ito. So, tingnan natin. So, we have, ano yung mga muscles again that is responsible for making a sad face? Or frowning face? We have your orbicularis oris. Yung palibot ng lips nyo. Orbicularis oris. Okay, uh, the function of your orbicularis oris is to, is to shape the mouth. Ano? Sinishape na yung mouth natin. Then we also have your orbicularis oculi. Taas. Then we also have your depressor anguli oris. Okay, okay. depressor anguli oris. It would pull the corner of the mouth downwards. And then we also have your mentalis muscle. Ito yung mentalis muscle natin. Kaya, uh, the action of your mentalis muscle is to invert, you know, invert or in, and pull the lower lip downward. Okay, kaya yan, nagpapout because of the action ng ating mentalis muscle. What else? We also have your, uh, we also have yung corrugator supercilia yun. Okay. And we also have your procerus. We also have your procerus in here. Okay, kaya nagre-wrinkle yung forehead. Okay, nagme-meet yung kilay nyo when you're angry or you're frowning. Okay, what if? Ano pa? Okay, and we also have your nasalis muscle. Okay, and the last one, in your neck, it would pull the corner of the mouth and the lower lip uh, downward. Okay, we also have your platysma. So, mas kita yung platismo sa angry. Okay, mas pronounce yung ating, di ba, mas pronounce yung ating corrugator, supercilai, here. We also have your proceros in here. Okay, and then your occipito frontalis, downward contraction ng ating occipito frontalis. Okay, yan. Tapos, mas kita yung, look at the neck, neck of this person. It's very stretched and it is pulling your lips downwards. Okay, that's the action ng ating latissima. Okay, so ilang muscles na yan? Ilang muscles are contracting? Okay, we have orbicularis oculi. Bilangin nyo, orbicularis oculi. Orbicularis oris. Depressor anguli oris. Mentalis. Corrugator supercilai. Procerus. Nasalis. Okay, the platysma, and your occipital frontalis. Okay, ilan na yan? How many? And they're all paired. Paired muscle lahat ng mga Okay, how many muscles are now contracting when you are sad, when you are angry? Oh, ilang muscles na yan? Yes. So, usually it is either, kung hindi natin sasali yung ano na, occipital frontalis, usually nasa 16. Okay, so 16 to 18 muscles. 16 to 18 muscles are now contracting when you are frowning. Okay, so this has a correlation, ano? So what would you like to, ano? So the more, di ba if you're having a muscle contraction, pag nagkakontract ka, okay, you are expending energy. Tama? nag expand ka ng energy. So, saan ka mas pagod? Smiling or frowning? Okay, so it's better for you to uh, smile more often so that you won't be exhausted or expending okay, unnecessary energy. Okay? So, uh, it's better. Kasi look at that one. 12 muscles only for smiling and you have 18 or 16 to 18 muscles for frowning or your, when you're angry. Okay, so it's not good for your <laughs> physiology of your body when you're using, I don't know, 
uh, excess energy. Okay? So, yun po yung mga muscles natin. Okay, so ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. Your occipitofrontalis has uh, two contractions, a downward and upward contraction. So, pag nagkaroon ng upward contraction ng ating occipitofrontalis, Okay, if there's an upward contraction of your occipitofrontalis, then it would create a facial expression which is surprise. Or na shock. Na shock ka. That is the action of the upward contraction ng ating occipitofrontalis. Okay, we also have a whistling or sucking muscle. Okay, and those are playing wind instruments like your saxophone. Ano pa? trombone, okay, clarinet, okay, or flute, yung mga nagpo-flute, okay, and you're using is for whistling, anong muscle yun, whistling or sucking muscle, we have your vaccinator. Okay, it compresses the cheek against the molar teeth and prevent them from getting beaten during mastication. Also contributes to the keeping the bolus of food central in the oral cavity and preventing it from escaping into the oral vestibule. It has an important role in playing wind instruments. Allows blowing the air from inflated vestibule by compressing the cheek. So that is your vaccinator. Okay, oh, we're done. Uh, we have finished your muscles na ate. Facial expression. Okay, questions? 